You're probably wondering, who's the co-host going to be this episode? Who's going to be the co-host? Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Combs is in the house. Uh, What's up, up, man? How are you? Justin Combs is a triple threat. He's a star athlete who played for the UCLA Bruins, a current Harvard MBA student, and if that wasn't enough, he's also a VP at the family business, Combs Enterprises. Today, we are so excited to have Justin Combs. Nice to meet you. Nice I've been a big you. fan of the show. I've been watching it for a minute, so nice. it's an honor to be here. I'm excited. Same. Well, I just seen fake account wasting someone's time. I definitely want to help, you know what I'm saying? I'm big on um, finding the truth. I definitely want to help somebody else. You came to the right place. <laughs> All right, well, should we uh, tuck Let's in and see what we got, got here? All right, we got an email here from CJ. Hey, Neve and Justin. I'm 25, work as a cook, and live up in Syracuse, New York with my family. Eight years ago, I saw this hot girl on Facebook. I know I was a fool when I first met you, girl. Her name is Shayna. She was 21, and she lived in New Jersey. Boy, so eight years ago, he was like 17. So he had a nice older one. Yeah. We had a bunch of mutual friends, so I sent her a message. She responded, and we hit it off. I knew in my heart that I've been saved. Shayna was a nurse and had a baby daughter, Nunu. OK, Nunu. We exchanged numbers and started talking all the time. Shayna was perfect, and when she asked if she could be my boo, I immediately said yes. I love you. There are a lot of crazy things about our story, but the craziest thing is that I really love her. But every time I tried to make plans to meet face to face, it never happened because of something on her end. That's fishy. Two years ago, she actually moved from New Jersey to Syracuse. We were in the same town, but she still couldn't meet me. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Need to find out what's going on. If she's not who she says she is, then who have I been talking to? And why would they do this to me for so long? I hope you can help me. CJ. This is spicy. Yeah, eight years is a long time. Yeah, he's been talking to her for a minute, so right. we gotta try to figure something out for him. All right, let's give him a call. Yo! What up? How you doing? Good, good. How you doing? Good. Uh, oh, good. Neve here, and I'm... Justin. Justin, helping me out on this episode. Nice to meet you guys. Cool. So tell us this whole story going all the way back to when you first met Shayna. Well, it started off on Facebook. I saw her and my people you may know, and instantly I just started hitting her up, and she replied back. She told me she was 21, and I was 17, so I felt like the big guy around campus and stuff, you know? Yeah, <laughs> nice older thing. I like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we got into a relationship, and I was supposed to meet her in New Jersey, but she disappeared on me. <sighs> Did she ever explain what happened, or? The whole time that we've been talking, it's been excuses about everything. Like, I got called into work, or I got bad service, why we can't video chat. You kept talking, obviously, after. Mm hmm Like, she always knew what to say to get me back. Yeah. Um, so me and her was just talking. Then a year after, she disappeared. And then I got a weird message in my email. And it was her friend, Destiny Lopez. She said, hey, Shayna is my friend, and she passed away. <sighs> had you ever heard of Destiny before, or she just was a random friend of Shayna? Just a random person. Wow. So I was feeling heartbroken. I was hurt. And I cared about her and I loved her, so I'm like, I just lost a girl that I never even met yet anyways, too. It was like hard for me to move on. I was talking to other girls and stuff like that. And then I started dating other girls, but it was just hard. When Shayna died, did her Facebook yes. page go away or did it just- Disappear, it disappeared. completely. And then two years later, I'm scrolling on Facebook and it says, people you may know, Shayna Vasquez. Wait, so, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, you find out from Shayna's friend that she died, and you don't talk to her for two years. Two years. And then all of a sudden, she pops up I'm and- I'm scrolling on Facebook, and, and I start accepted. instantly hitting her with messages. I'm like, are you kidding me? It's been two years I thought to you and done like that. Like, where the f you been? Like, what's going on? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> wow. wow, back from the dead. Uh-huh, and then she told me, I apologize. I've been going through stuff. I just got out of a bad relationship. It was a violent relationship, and I didn't know how to handle it and stuff. Like, she always needed to get me back. When she popped back up, I was in a relationship. And what happened to that relationship? Oh, we broke up. Think it had something to do with Shayna being back? Uh-huh. She got me texting her and stuff like that, you know? Oh, so like, man. Yeah. Texting a like, dead girl? 
<laughs> yeah. You broke up with a real living person for a Facebook zombie? <laughs> uh huh. You must really love Shannon. I do. I love her. Eight years is a long time to be waiting, man. We're gonna figure this out, yeah. though. I'm ready. We got you. All right. Thank you, guys. All right, later. Wow. Eight years? Come that on. That was crazy. What is this guy hanging on to this for? Man. She had a friend tell him she died. To then come back and allow the relationship to pick up where you left off yeah. is like evil. <laughs> let it go. Like, let yeah. this poor boy go. Eight years. Either she just has incredibly strong feelings for him that she can't let go, or she loves messing with this yeah. guy. I don't know. Shane is cold blooded. Well, I'm down. Let's, 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 uh, let's hit the road. Do let's do it. All right, let's Look out the window, be on the trees. Let me make him pass, land on the beach. Man, I'm, I'm excited. I want to figure this out for him and help him out. Whoever Shayna is, she's clearly hiding something. For sure. Something's off. Shady Shayna. <laughs> Shady Shayna. All right, let's do it. Sir. No playing on porch, no sitting in my chairs. Ring doorbell once. Knock as much as you please. Let's start with that. What's up? Good up. Good up. See you, man. You? Let's head on in. Sure. What's that say? No playing in my Your house. Yeah. <laughs> no eating food on my furniture. At all. At all. <laughs> Woman boss of this house. <laughs> Your mom's got a lot of rules. Yeah. She's pretty tough. Yeah, on me. <laughs> all right, well, let's sit down. All right, so Justin and I have been trying to think why, after eight years, you've still never met this woman. I it might be the baby dad still, probably. So you think because of her relationship, that's why she hasn't met you? I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Because when she died and stuff like that, she told me that she was going through a bad relationship. Right. So even when you guys started talking, she still obviously had a connection to her baby daddy. Yes. That's what I think that's going on still. Who knows? Um, yeah, that's. <laughs> what about the person who actually told you that she died? Who was that? So. Oh, yeah. Destiny Lopez? Destiny. Okay. She randomly came out the blue, like, hey, I know you and Shayna used to talk. Shayna passed away. I'm like, who are you? Like, Shayna never told me nothing about you and stuff like that. Like, so are you sure? Like, what happened? And I seen that she lived in New Jersey, too, about the same area that Shayna was living. So I'm like, wow, she got to know what she's talking about. Then I instantly went to Shayna right in there. Like, what happened? Nothing. And then one day, the Facebook was gone. Shayna's profile disappeared. Yes. And Destiny's profile disappeared, too. That's weird. Yeah. And then a year and a half later, Shayna comes back. And didn't you just think, like, this is crazy? Like, I wanted to drop it, but we knew each other for so long. But it was something in me that it was like, I got to find out who this was. I told so much to her. We used to talk nonstop, day and night, fall asleep on the phone sometimes. Like, wow. I done told her I loved her. She done oh. told me she loved me. So you guys have, have said you're in love? Yes. I feel like it's a connection there. It's just that one part, who she is, because she done came in and out of my life a bunch of times already, so <laughs> I just got to know. Yeah. If we assume for a moment that Shayna is not the girl in the photographs, how much has she lied about that? Like, has she sent you lots and lots of pictures? Is she always posting? Does uh, she text you stuff? She sent me pictures all the time. I got a couple pictures, pictures. that she was posting or just separate, like, just for you pictures? It's a couple just for me pictures that she sent me, like, freaky pictures. That's oh, like, really? Like, you can see it. Yeah, me too. Wow. Are they, are I'm they... like, I, I can't turn that off, you know? Like, OK, so here she is. Wait a second. Wow, there's a lot of pictures. <laughs> Okay, the booty pick. Wait, what is this, this picture of a vagina? Yeah. <laughs> Could have given us a warning. For real. But she yeah. sent it to you? Yeah. And you've sent a bunch of pictures of yourself? Yes. Naughty ones? Yeah. So you know that if a person is comfortable enough to send you those types of photos, they're comfortable enough to FaceTime or video chat. Sure. Either they're catfishing you, right. and they're not the person in the pictures, or they just don't like you, and they don't really want to meet you. Now, I don't know why she'd keep talking to you. Right, if she didn't like me. Unless you were giving her money or doing her favors, or but you're not. 
Not a dime. <laughs> right. Not a dime. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> uh, I just, I got a lot of questions. Because I got love for her. I done lost a couple girlfriends and stuff like that in the past and stuff over texting her and stuff. When you were dating other girls, did you tell Shayna? She'll find out, like, Facebook or something like that. And does she get jealous or mm -hmm. she does? Yes. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't let you have your other relationships peacefully. Mm -hmm. She, like, starts texting. Yeah, texting me, texting the girls sometimes. Whoa, really? What? She got the girl's number? Oh, um, not Facebook number, messaging. Facebook and stuff, yeah. Wow, so she has, like, actively sabotaged your other relationships. A couple of them, yeah. <laughs> this girl sounds crazy. Yeah. Why are you messing with this girl? I'm just in too deep, basically. You gotta find out who it is. Yeah, <laughs> that's, what I'm, right. that's what I'm thinking about now. We've got a mission. Send us what you got. Mm -hmm. Hey, we'll check in with you in the morning. We'll let you know sir. how it goes. Thank you, guys. Yes, All right. sir. See you later. Well, we definitely got our hands full with this one. Mm -hmm. Eight years is a long time to be talking to someone. Sure. And for that person to have been dead for two years of that is so messed up. And on top of that, sabotage his current yeah. relationship. No. This girl right. has crossed the line. It's very good. We dumb. could be dealing with someone with some serious problems. Yeah. We've never been two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on. 